Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing good. And in this video, we are going to see how to create a free BTP trial account along with uh, BAS subscription. So it's nothing but a business application studio. So UI5 developments are just, just moving from WebID to BAS level. So we are also continue our about to UI5 learning in the uh, BAS tool okay, or BAS studio. Okay. So let's get into the slides first. So here in the slides, uh, I have sh I, I will show you a few screenshots to create a BTP free account because I have done with my ID. It's pretty simple. Most of you have a, a user ID account created in SAP side. If not, just do it from the scratch. Okay. So once you're done with the BTP free trial account, then we'll see how to enable the pass uh, for our uh, UFA learning. Okay, so let's get into the, get into the slides. So first, uh, go to wsap.com uh, if you you don't have an ID. Okay, if you if you not created any account with SAP, just go to sap.com and fill this informations and click this and along with that just can click continue and you have three steps to be done. One is register you register with your information. And verify your email and access all the resources. This is the final step saying that is the thank you message. So once you get the email uh, for verification, just click the link. You will get verified. After that, you will get a thank you message saying your account is active with sap.com. Okay. So this is a step one. And step two is we are going to create a trial account, BTP trial account. So for that, uh, then come uh, go to the next. Um, URL is account.anotrial.ondemand.com or you can just Google it BTP trial account creation then it will take you to the uh, link or the relevant page. So in that the first one it will ask which option you have to choose uh, for your trial account creation. So choose any one of it and then after you choose and click create account it try to create the informations over here. It may take few minutes. Once it is done, you will get the informations on each one. What is the global account uh, number and what is the sub account and everything. Okay. So sub, uh, here you can see sub account also created. So previously we had to create manual sub account. Now the sub account also created for your trial account. So once it is done, then you will get this page. So welcome to SAP BTP trial. So trial account is ready now. Then you have to select go to trial account button. So once you have the trial account and you can see a few informations uh, I can show you here. Once you click continue or so continue, right? Yeah, once you click not continue, once you click go to your trial account, a few informations are you can see this law in this one, like a uh, uh, trial account period is 30 days only or after that it automatically deleted if you're not regularly logging or not, not regularly using your trial account. Okay, if not, it will automatically delete it. Otherwise, it's keep on increasing like 30 after that again, it's go to 45. So kind of it will increase if regularly if you're not using it, you can see it's it's decreasing and now. Uh, after 30 days, it automatically deleted and make sure uh, it's not relevant now, but make sure your cloud foundry, uh, foundry environment is also enabled. So here by default, it's enabled. That's what I'm showing here as a disabled cloud foundry by default is enabled, but make sure yes, it's got enabled for your trial account. Okay, so and after that, uh, you can see in the same screen that I just put a small different one screenshot from the, on the same page and on the same page, you can see a, a little down, you can see sub accounts. So trial is a sub account you may have seen in the previous slide. So name of your sub account is trial. Okay, so that is the one which got created here. Okay, so everything we are going to do in this trial account only. So just click the trial account and you will get the informations like this. You will get a page like this. And here you have, suppose if you want to add any application to your account that is coming under service marketplace. So go to services and service marketplace. You're able to get whatever application if you want to be added in your account. So currently I need only SAP business application studio uh, while creating this added by default. Okay. If it is not, then what you have to do is service marketplace search. You can give you the name SAP business application studio and you might have an option like add the subscription. So here it's after subscription, you can see the status of your application studio is subscribed. 
okay so once it is done your sap business application studio is ready for the development so if you see if you click that one it will automatically open welcome to the application studio and the another step is you need to create a development space to do your developments okay or to begin your development uh, so just click it and it will uh, open the page and here you can give this name without any space and uh, then by default i'll go with the sap fury application as of now and click create dev space it takes few minutes of time to create so once it is created um, uh, you will get this is my dev space on i created on top of sap fury and it's saying running initially it's saying starting then it shows running and uh, automatically within time period if it is not using it automatically it will go to the stop mode and you have i will show you that you will have a, a start and stop and or delete account buttons are over there so every time you have to start it then you have to get into that to your place where you can start coding your applications or develop your applications okay so and then yeah this is the first page of your bass okay so what i am going to do is now i'm going to open my bass account and just walk through the space and account and everything okay yeah let's get into that so here once you done with your sab um account registration and created a oh sorry account creation then you can start with the btp free account so for that you have to go with on demand hana account.hana.ondemand.com or you can say btb cockpit login so it's everything is same here okay then i have to sign in so it's it, it this is my uh, initial page of my trial account so go to trial home okay so from here go to your trial account so this is my trial account and this is my sub account it's automatically created so what are you going to do you're going to do with this sub account only so just get into the trial account then you'll get this information to be changed and services and service marketplace so whatever you want you have to just ch change whatever you want to add any subscriptions from here you can able to add it in your environment okay in your uh, trial account and instant and subscription once you add it that all listed in your subscription page and here uh, i have only one subscribe is nothing but uh, sap business application studio so just click it it will open in a new window and um, maybe the first one yeah i just click this okay so here uh, i have created it so if you click create dev space in a trial account i believe we have a restriction of dev space i'm not sure like two i believe more than two you cannot create more than two dev space you cannot create in the trial account if i'm not wrong and you have to select give a space name and uh, you can select whatever you want and click create dev space okay so that what i have done and i created one dev space so this is currently stopped so once it's created you have to use this button to um, start it again so it take few seconds a few minutes and it's showing running once it is running uh, this will enable with a hyperlink like if you select then it will take you to the dev space there's nothing but a space where you can start developing your applications okay let's uh, wait for a few seconds so now it shows running and i'm getting the hyperlink here get into the sap business application studio so get started so whether you want to create a project from a template or clone it from a get import or you want to file some folders so everything you have this is your place where you can start doing your ufa development okay so yeah we have installed so these are the information which which keep on coming so let's uh, create and uh, uh, let's create and keep your bas ready 
to have few coding initially and then start uh, UFA application developments and the project wise we can do more stuff on it. Okay, just make this ready and thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.